Hey guys, this is TJ Hafer, and I'm bringing you a preview of Crusader Kings 3. We're looking at the map today, because strategy players, we love geeking out over the map. Um, this is kind of a close-up of Scandinavia. As you can see, it's very detailed uh, compared to the Crusader Kings 2 map, uh, especially in the, you know, the mountains here and uh, you know all the little lakes and inlets you can really see. And we zoom out to this level, looks kind of familiar, but then if you zoom out even more, we get this beautiful medieval looking uh, paper map. This is the 867 start date, uh, not the 1066 start date, which you might have seen already. Um, so as you can see, as we scroll around, uh, there's some countries that are familiar if you played this start date in Crusader Kings 2, some that are new. There's quite a bit more of West Africa down here around, uh, I guess would be the Gold Coast area. Um, East Africa goes down a little bit further south too to Mogadishu, which was a very important uh, area in this period. We also have um, the Mon and Pagan kingdoms over here in the east. Uh, we've got more of Tibet, we've got more of Mongolia, uh, lots of new tags, and also this sort of uh, conspicuous jagged edge here. Um, I, would, I would bet that they will probably add China at some point in the future, but that's just my speculation. Um, if we go into the religious map mode, we can see some old and some new uh, insular Christianity in Ireland, which is really interesting, uh, which is kind of its own branch of um, Catholicism. Uh, there's a bunch of new pagan religions in Africa. You've got different uh, Sunni and Shia Muslim schools like the Ashari, um, some new stuff in Tibet. Uh, they've got Nongchos, which is kind of their... Um, the Tibetan Buddhism that, that takes some aspects of, uh, of traditional Tibetan religion. And then there's insular Christianity, uh, as I was speaking about earlier. They've got this pastoral isolation, so they're not really seen as heretics by other Catholics. And then all of these doctrines are things that you can change if you choose to reform your religion, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a look at the culture map mode. Again, some new and some old. We've got Cornish in the British Isles, finally. Uh, the, the Cornish are finally getting their, their due. A bunch of new cultures in Africa, especially the areas of Africa we didn't have before. They've split up some culture groups, like I think the, um, the Touareg culture group has been split up. Uh, Tibet has some new cultures for sure. And then out on the steppes we have uh, the Buryats and uh, some other new steppe cultures as well. Um, every culture has their own sort of set of technological progresses, some unique ones, like the North Germanics get long ships, and then later on they can unlock uh, Huskarls, which are a special unit, and almost every culture group in the game has a special unit type that can be unlocked at some point along the line. So that's the map for Crusader Kings 3. It's looking really cool. Uh, for more on Crusader Kings 3, check out my other preview video where I play around a little bit in Ireland. And for everything else Crusader Kings, keep it right here on IGN.